All right, so it turns out that I was an idiot. <laughs> this, may, this may be a shocking revelation, but it turns out that I was a dummy. All right, Kamek's Christmas caper. Kamek has stolen the tools. Kamek has stolen something important. No dead ends. Tempest Fog makes fantastic levels, so I am really hopeful about this. Will I skip this level? Yes or no? I think it'll be good if it's a Tempest level, but maybe Tempest sucks at making puzzles. Let's find out. <laughs> hey, donkey. Okay, ooh, that's cool, that intro. What is that? Okay, this is, there are things happening here. What does the door do? Door goes to the middle here. Okay, this feels like we just need to enter that door just to enter the puzzle here. We've got some screen scrolling shenanigans. Look, there's a Kamek on rails. Uh, is there anything behind the webcam? Oh, there is stuff behind the webcam. So I'm gonna put this webcam right here. Let's actually, let's look at what we have here though. How do we win? Kill Kamek. All right, we gotta kill Kamek. Kamek's just sitting up there. When, but Kamek does spawn in and go like on a magical journey on these rails. Uh, I don't know where the end of the level is. There's a pipe here. There's Lonk. All right, let's 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 see what we can do close to us rather than getting lost. I mean, basically we have to go in this door. I'm assuming this door goes, no, maybe I don't. All right, let's just, let's explore. First step, exploration. Goes to here. And from here, the main thing we can do is hit this on and off switch. Yeah, that hits the on and off switch. Okay. Now, what does that do for us? Now the on and off switch is hit. Oh, is Kamek destroying the goal? I think Kamek is destroying the goal. Is that right? Oh, now we can get long. Okay. Now we go back through the door with long and lose long. Shit. <laughs> Did that do any? Wait a minute. <laughs> what does long do for me then? How can I save long? I can't get back in this door, by the way, which... Oh, there's a one way right there, which makes me think we're boninated. Is there something I can do? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Have I already failed? Boom, boom, boom. I just like the music. I think I've already failed. It Now it says no, Tempest, can you clarify? It says no dead ends. Does that mean that I have not, does that mean I have not yet failed the puzzle? Cause it feels failed to me. There's no dead ends, you'll never. Okay, cool. That's, that's awesome. That is awesome to know. So there's some way to proceed here, which is fascinating because, unless I'm an idiot, <laughs> I don't see how to proceed here. So let's, I guess, think about other things we can do. What can we possibly do? Oh, can I? I can't shield this guy, can I? I was checking for like vines. I wonder if invincibility will actually, oh my gosh, I've had this happen to me once. Yeah, no, I've had this happen to me once. Basically, if you invincibility frame and instantly go through the door, it actually, yeah, it saves your invincibility frame. That's, I've had that happen to me accidentally once. I got stuck here too, but once you know, you know. Yeah, that's really cool. I wanna start using that more. I have totally had this happen to me by accident. And I actually thought like, I was very confused as to what happened when it happened. Ooh, we got SMP2, let's go. Heck yeah. Okay, I think we're done with Lonk now. Hiya! Can we go in this pipe? We can't go in this pipe. So now we can do something with our SMP2 mushrooms. That's interesting. What can we do with these niche rooms? We can't go in the pipe. I mean, all we can, but if we get Link again, that's not gonna help, is it? How is, what can we do differently? We can jump high, we can stand on stuff. Wow, this is interesting. Oh, I'm really digging this so far because I love it. I love puzzles when there is a small area where it looks like you have like one thing you can do and yet you can't progress. What is it you forgot all the time last stream? Oh, God dang it, snowballs. Why do I just not know that snowballs exist ever? But what can I do with a snowball? Can I enter the door on a snowball? How would I stop the snowball? Oh my gosh, what if it's, oh, that destroys the snowball. 
What if there's a way for me to keep the snowball? There's no way to like drop a snowball unless you get hit, which we learned in Stevo's puzzle. So is there a way? I don't think I can touch. Hmm, strange. Maybe having Link will help somehow? Yeah, progressive exploration of small area is really cool. Okay, so what does Link offer us? Link offers of arrows, shield. What can we do with Link and the Mishroom? Bombs. Can you stand on a bomb? <laughs> oh yeah, this puzzle is really cool. This puzzle is really good. This puzzle is really good. That is so cool. Okay, I think I can use a snowball to hit that. Is that useful for me? Oh, now I can use Link to break these bombs, I think. Is that... Now we get Link again. Oh wait, this is problematic. Oh, this is problem... This is problem mad Link, but that's horrible. I can't, um... Kudos, by the way, kudos to Tempest for making no soft locks in this. This looks like a mess to de-cheese all the soft locks. So, because Level Creator has told us there are no soft locks, which means that I'm still good somehow, because it looks like I've completely boninated myself. Now, how can I do something different now? Because I can't get Link anymore, right? I don't think I can get Link anymore. Oh, I still can. No, I can't pull a bomb. I can't pull a bomb out. Oh, because if I push up to pull a bomb, it hits me. But I can do that. Oh, I can pull a bomb. <laughs> now we do this. And do the same trick like this! Yo, that's so cool! That's so cool, the same trick in a completely different way! I love that. And now, that was intended, right? I feel like that had to be intended. Okay, now we can do this. Oh, I timed out, shoot. <laughs> yeah, you did a bunch of playtesting. Yeah, this is awesome. All right, I mean, this is what I expected from Tempest. But like, I hope it's apparent the difference between like, like why this level to me is so enjoyable and some of the other ones weren't super enjoyable. This level is awesome. Okay. Um, th that means I could do it right here, right? Like, there's no need to, but I could technically do it right here like this. Completely pointless. I wonder if there's anybody who figured out that solution first. Of course, that'd be... It'd be I, I See, I don't think anybody even would figure out that first. Right. Um... Oh, I need to, wait, I need to go through with Link again. So we, we hit the ghost to get invulnerability, immediately pick up another Link and go through the door while we're still invulnerable to pass through that saw while saving it. Then I can put a bomb under the door, get SMB2 mushroom and use the SMB2 mushroom's ability to stand on stuff to enter the door, which is super cool. Hit the on and off switch again. Uh, the on and off switch allows us to break these blocks eventually. So we have to grab another link, which I love how the SB2 mushroom makes it even easier to just have this setup happen, by the way, which I also love. No! Oh, that's, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Okay, um, so what do we want to do right now? Um, now we want to get hit again with this. Oh, it's, ooh, there we go. I probably, there's probably an easy way to do that. No! I... I'm getting trolled by myself. I don't think that's gonna be enough. Not enough. I don't know if there's like some easy way to time this. That's not enough either. I think it's better to jump into it myself like this. Yeah, that's how I'm supposed to do it, I think. I love this, probably my favorite from the contest. Yeah, it definitely seems really good so far. Okay, so now we blow these up. And now after we blow those up, we have to think about what we can do here. I think Link can stabby stab on a stump. 
Um, so I could, this will move the stump if I hit this, I think, which is strange. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I can also just straight up walk up here and blow these, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I can blow these up, which feels like something I should do right now since they're breakable and it lets me like come the other way here. Oh, this gives me extra longs and this is just a reset, I believe. So this is just a reset. Kamek kills that. I have to kill Kamek. Um, okay, so what happens when I hit this? Ooh, what is that? Okay, now it makes it so I can't go back there. I must. There must be some cheese or, or something. Um, what happens if I hit the platform? I don't understand. don't understand what I am supposed to do. How are we gonna kill Kamek? If we hit the switch, we could kill Kamek, actually. Cause if we could, yeah, yeah, we could just, I think we could just go up there and kill Kamek if we hit the switch. So maybe the next step is to, is to do that. We can also go back. Okay, here, here's the thing. We can go back if we choose to lose Link. So we can actually go get SMB2. What is this cannon shoot? Does this cannon shoot something? Hello? Do you do something? Can we do anything with snowballs? Can snowballs kill ghosts? No. We can get big. Is big good? We can't get in this doorway other than going through this again, which seems tricky. Let's go back through the reset door with the SMB2 and see if anything presents itself. I think I could kill him through the wall with a snowball if I got in there. I don't know if I want to do that. The cannon shot three one-ups. Okay, I wasn't looking at what it shot. Um, what is the point of the cannon? Maybe before hitting... Oh no, basically it will never let us get Link that way. I see the point of the cannon. The cannon is like gatekeeping it so that I can't go back through the bottom door. Um, with... Because I can't get the Link in the left area. And I have to like... I have to lose Link to go through here. What is the point of that? Does it... I think I've screwed myself, but he says no softlocks. How is this not a softlock? Oh, I can jump. I can be jump up there. Okay. I see. Cool. So I can still jump back up like this. What is the point of the stump? What happens if I go through this door and just immediately, immediately do this? Does this affect Kamek at all? No, that doesn't affect Kamek. We're so close to the end here, and yet I don't see what else to do. What does breaking this do? It lets me walk up there, but what is... It lets me get up there with an SMB2 mushroom. That's what it does. Because without breaking that, I have to SMB2 mushroom up here. So this lets me get up here with an SMB2 mushroom. If I'm up here with an SMB2 mushroom, I have snowballs. Does that help? No, I didn't mean to grab that. Shoot. Hmm. I didn't see a way to kill Kamek with the stump. Oh, I can pick up the stump now. I get it, no, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Now if I go back here and I go through the door, no, I can't, can I? No, I can't. I wanted to pick up the stump with the SMB2, but I just can't quite do it. Unless I kill the ghost. I can't kill the ghost, can I? I don't think I can, can Link kill the ghost? No. What else do we do? We're so, I feel like we're so close. But where do I... Oh! Oh! I was looking in the wrong area of the map, I think. Okay, yeah, I think I see what to do. I was looking in the wrong area of the map. I don't know if I want to do this, but I'm going to do it just in case. Okay, so basically we need to hit the switch. I've been trying this whole time to figure out how to hit the switch. We can hit the switch like this. <laughs> we can hit the switch like this. Yeah, there we go. I love how, by the way, I love how both this door and this door have two like similar but different ways of getting into them that you have to use at different times, which is cool. <laughs> Cosmic brain, let's go. Literally, I've played two puzzles that have used that exact same mechanic before, so. Okay, um. 
Sean Hip, I think, was the inventor of that mechanic, or at least the first one I saw use it. Um, so I think I can hit this now, and then I think I can just go kill Kamek. Let's try. I think this will just kill him. Yeah, GG. GG! Awesome puzzle. I love how the puzzle had creativity, but it didn't overstay its welcome. It goes, it is, I so much prefer when the difficulty of a puzzle comes from figuring out creative mechanics rather than stringing together things in the right order because you have, you're like trial and erroring eight different things and you have to do them in the right order. Any, any puzzle that's like, you have eight branching paths, do them in the right order, lull. To me, it's like, it's not, I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with that, but it's personally not the type of puzzle that I enjoy. I like the puzzles that are based on creativity, like that one. All right, let's, let's do it. All right. All right, we got one of, we got one of these Mecha Koopa dudes. Oh, did I want, wait, I didn't, I think that, I think there's, there's only one Wiggler. I think I don't want to release that Wiggler. Wasn't that like the point? Can I not release the Wiggler? Wait, what do I do? I have to kill the Wiggler. I have to kill, let's see what we got here. We have a wig, we have, we have Mr. Wigglesworth. We have to kill him and then touch this. In order to touch this, we either need to get down here. That looks weird. Or maybe we go in this door. Do we like go in the door and then win? But you can also, I'm confused. There's many ways to like get to this goal. Oh, look at this. There's also a path above the level. So I think we need to think about that too. Hmm. There's a delicious 50. Delicious, delicious 50. Nom, 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 nom. Um... Okay, you can just walk over here. Oh, you can hit the snick. What does the snick do? What's the purpose of snick? How would I get in here? How do I do anything? <laughs> what do I do? I'm already totally lost. All right, wait, I see one other thing we can do. We can lower this. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. What? Hello. I can do it too. Like you're not the only one. Okay, we need we need to find literally anything that we can do. I can't even touch that. Oh, I can go through the door. Maybe that's useful. That doesn't look useful because I'm gonna die. Ugh. Weird. This level is interesting because I have no idea what to do. If we could hit a switch, things would happen. Oh, the switch is... I think I see the switch. I think there's a switch down here. Hmm. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. How can we do anything in this puzzle? If I really quickly run into there. Actually, wait, the, will the Wiggler spawn? Cause it was hit. Oh, see now, now we've come over here without spawning the Wiggler. Like, I don't know if that's useful, but maybe. What does the snake block do again? Let's hit the snake block again. What does this do? This doesn't do anything. I mean, it moves over like one tile. And now I can't, I can't get back. This doesn't do anything. Oh, can I kill that with sliding? Can I slide into that piranha and kill it? That might be something we can do. Let's see what happens if I uh, do that. Oh, come on. Okay, I can kill that. And then I can, oh, I can get a snowball here. Oh, this is good. Now I have a snowball and I can use the snowball to hit that. And then I can go back from there out here. I think I need to use the snowball instead to hit the switch right here. I think that's what we're gonna need to do is use the snowball to hit the, okay, we need to see what happens when we hit that switch. All right, Urgh, die. All right, I'm gonna get the snowball and I'm gonna take my snowy balls and I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna hit the swatch. Uh, swatch has been swatchinated. Now the interesting thing about the swatch, okay, first we see, oh, it releases this guy. Oh, what, a, mun oh, a muncher comes out now. So I, th I think I can hit him. I need another snowball though. Can I get another snowball? 
if I go back here, go back here. Now the see now the um whoop, now the wiggler. I can get another snowball. Nice. And now I can get out of here. So the wiggler is no longer being released, which I think is important because it gets trapped. Can I hit you? Come up here. Oh, I can take you and put you. Oh! I can take you and put you somewhere. What does this do? Can you hit that? No, look at that. It can't hit that. I was thinking maybe that would be good. No! Go back to sleep. All right, let me get out of here. Now, what I don't understand is what are we going to do? What are we going to do with this blue ray of doom what is this blue th what does the ray do we also have we have this does it shoot at me or does it shoot will it ever shoot the other way i don't think that was right does it sh hold on do i have to jump up there for it to shoot or will it just shoot i think i have to jump up there and then when i jump up there it shoots towards me Okay, so it shoots the direction that I am, is what it looks like. Um, I mean, this is the only thing left, right? There's this, hold on, let me look at, let me get my pointer out here. So there's a seesaw here. I have no idea what that seesaw is for, but it looks like up here, there's a path. And if I was thinking, if I yeet this guy up on the top, maybe he would walk and hit this. That was my big brain idea but I don't understand how to do that with this one way right here. This one way complicates things. Maybe though, oh, if I put him right here, see this, see how there's a platform here? If I put him right here, maybe he'll walk over here, go boing, 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 boing up there, walk over here, boing that, give me something here, something, 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 beat the level. Let's try that out, that's the play. I can still reset, I think, which is nice. If I go in here and then I go back through the door, it will reset the Mecha Koopa. What do you call, what is like the official name of just, is it just blue Mecha Koopa? So I can go over here, hit the bomb. I have to read you that every time, I see. Okay, and then I can get this guy. And what if I kick, if I kick this dude up right there, right there, then he comes back to life, walks, bounces up there. Yeah, bounces up there, walks across the top, now what's gonna happen next? Something should come out of here, so I'm gonna just go over here. Something should come out of here. Please? Is he walking? Hello? Can I see up here? I can't see up there, which is annoying. I don't get it. Where's the Mecha Koopa? You did it walk to the left? I don't know. Zappa Mecha Koopa? Hmm. Can Laser Boy activate on off? That is a great question. I kind of want to figure that out. I don't think so though. Keep stalling to scam the believers. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of ideas for things to try. I wonder... But I can't see anything. So like, if I have to hit the switch again or do something like that, like that's not good as far as level design goes because I can't see what's happening up there. I don't know. I don't know what just, see, I don't know what just happened. And I feel like that's a, that's not a good thing. Let's see, let's just see what happens when I put this guy here. What will it do? Will it be able to hit the switch or no? Will you fire? Okay, you fired that way. It does sort of follow me. See, it stays kind of underneath me. Okay, will it hit the switch? It does not activate the switch. Can I throw it into the switch? No, so this guy cannot be used to activate switches. So what can we do? No, 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 stop that. Um, honestly, other than doing this, I don't know what the play is. Maybe if I stand here, he'll walk differently. Are you gonna follow me? Fish behind the goalpost. Oh, okay. It could, it could kill that, but I think it's just to prevent you from taking it through the door. So, I think if you have, actually it doesn't even prevent you from taking it through the door though, right? Oh no, it does, there's one on the other side. So basically you can't take the Mecha Koopa through the door. Um, well, I am uh, running out of ideas here. I could hit the switch again, but is there any point to hit the switch again? 
What's the goal? We have to defeat the Wiggler. I mean, I think we, I think clearly we have to activate this thing. And it certainly looks like to activate it, we're gonna need to get the Mecha Koopa. The only question is, do we hit the... I almost, if I fail this again, I might read. Let me do it like this, where I, I do that and I just immediately run over here. Does this make any difference? Because the way the dude walks is totally dependent on where I am. Just throwing the snowball up there. I think the snowball will just break. There is a, um, oh, actually, I mean, there's, oh, the note block is there, but I don't think it'll do anything. Oh, I can go over here. <laughs> I thought the one way, I thought the one way was all the way down here. I thought I couldn't go over there. Oh, I can shoot fish bones. All right, so it turns out that I was an idiot. <laughs> This may, this may be a shocking revelation, but it turns out that I was a dummy. Okay, how do I get the Wiggler? Can, um, I can eat the fire. I can eat the, oh, what the heck? I can eat the fire. What else can I eat? What can I use to kill the Wiggler? Will the fire kill the Wiggler? I don't know if you're supposed. I don't know if you're supposed to grab that or no. Oh, what the heck! Don't do that. Okay, I need to wait. I need to get the. F oh my god, I'm running out of time. No, I need to hit the switch again. Yeah, I need to hit the switch again. Oh my god. Oh, you can't take Yoshi in there. Look at that. Because you can't. Wait, can you? It doesn't do a duck jump. I don't think I can take Yoshi in here. Get trolled. Oh, but I can take Yoshi in there. I just did it. I can take Yoshi in here, I just did it. Was that, how did I get hit? Oh there, that's how I got, no! Goodbye Yoshi. Uh, let's see, we got five, I got five minutes to beat this level. So I think I just need to spit a fireball at the Wiggler, honestly. Is there an easier way to do it maybe? You can't like tongue the lightning, can you? That'd be sweet. I have an idea. I think I need Yoshi to run in here. Uh, let's go back here. Okay, so step one is clear the piranha, get the ball, go over here and hit the switch because if the switch is not activated, then this icicle up there will release the wiggler. And we need to not release the wiggler until the very end or else it will despawn when we go through the door and then we can't kill it, I think. Is that right? So we come up here and go back. Does eating the wiggler with Yoshi count? I don't think I can eat it because it'll be too low for me to tongue. Um, so we want to get this dude and then we want to kick this dude up there. Go over here and grab Yashi. Now technically, no, I can't go through the door with him. So I have to get the Yashi now. Trying to figure out if there's some way for me to get Yoshi in these doors. Can I get Yoshi in this door somehow? This feels like cheese if I do. So I don't think that's it. Um, I can eat the fish bones. Maybe that's all I need to do. I wish I could get... This can't hit the switch, right? No. I just need to hit the switch. I can hit the, I can eat this coin. I don't think that'll matter anymore, right? Oh, is that cheese? <laughs> that might be cheese. I can get another snowball here. Oh, can Yoshi not get out? Yoshi can't, oh, it's not cheese because Yoshi can't get out now. Yeah, I see, you can't, so you can't, oh, this is good cheese prevention. You can't get out. Wait, you can get out, kind of, actually. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Can't tell if we're... Can't tell if we're cheesing or if we're doing doing the things. That feels very cheesy. <laughs> um, okay, now we've got that, but we still need to get... We still need to get 
Another one of these. Oh, we can just do it like this. Okay, and now we just win, I think. I can eat get this fish bone. Go over here, drop that, release the wiggler. I think this will kill the wiggler. Hey, let's go. GG. <laughs> All right, did we cheese the hell out of that? Absolutely we did. All right, that was clearly cheese. Wiggler boop puzzle. Can you respawn the bomb? Yeah, but what am I gonna do with it? I think what you need to do is you need to hit the on and off switch right now. And can you use Yoshi to hit an on and off switch? Well, like, I, I can't tell if you're not supposed to be able to go through this door. Like, are you supposed to, what is the intended solution? Don't need to, you don't need to use the door. So right now we can win without using the door. So that means that there is it's just some way to hit the switch or a different way to either there's somebody to hit the switch or a different way to act to trigger this block i used the fireball to get yoshi in the door and mecha laser yeah that's what i almost did and then i found an even easier way to do it by just jumping in i think bones is the proper solution i don't know what to do with them like they will kill the um they'll just having the oh yeah and then that come okay oh this is that is the solution isn't it that and then it's and then it and then it um Hits my Yoshi here. This is, I think this actually is the solution, huh? Oh, but now it's too late. It would hit me, Yoshi would run through there, go through the door, and then you mount Yoshi in the door, get another snowball, hit the switch. I know. Anyway. <laughs> the more you know, the more you know, the more you know.